Spider-Man satisfaction. Ugh. Are you crazy, dude? Who isn't familiar with the dramatic threat? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 duels in history. For this list, we're strictly reviewing conflicts between two individuals, although the manner of engagement varies based upon the historical time period and location. These duels feature a variety of weaponry, from swords to pistols. Number 10. Wild Bill Hickok vs. Davis Tut In Springfield, Missouri on July 21, 1865, Wild Bill Hickok and Davis Tut resorted to arms after a series of disputes relating to a minor poker debt Hickok owed to Tut. Hickok famously threatened Tut not to venture into the town square, quote, unless dead men can walk. Needless to say, the two met in the square, faced each other sideways, and drew simultaneously. <laughs> Tut missed, and Hickok landed a bullet in Tut's left ribcage. Tut's last words were, boys, I'm killed. Though this seems to be just the way it is in the movies, it was rare for such a shootout to play out this way. Nonetheless, this immortalized gunslinger duels in the Wild West. Get down off your horse, or face the consequences. <laughs> Number 9. King Narezuan vs. Prince Minchitsra <laughs> At the end of the Burmese-Siamese War in 1593, Burmese Crown Prince Minchit Sra confronted Siamese King Narezuan in Siam. Narezuan persuaded Minchit Sra to duel on the backs of war elephants. The younger and fitter prince saw himself at an advantage, and so the duel commenced. Minshitsra cut Narezuan's hat, just missing him in the process. After carefully avoiding this fatal swipe, Narezuan proceeded to slash the prince to death, though both remained on their elephants. Now known as the Elephant Battle, the date of this event, January 18th, is now eternalized as Royal Thai Armed Forces Day. Number 8. Colonel Barbier Zufé vs. Captain Raoul de Vair. It's the honest ones you want to watch out for, because you can never predict when they're going to do something incredibly stupid. During the French Restoration in Paris, all it took was one wrong comment about a hat to start a duel. <laughs> In this case, two officers dueled it out with swords due to an insult levied by Colonel Barbier Zufé against Royal Guard Captain Raoul de Vare's uniform cockade. Barbier Zufé easily disarmed Raoul several times, but was not satisfied. The two decided to be much more extreme. They agreed to have their left arms bound together in the back of a moving carriage. With both armed with daggers, they brutally stabbed each other as the carriage made its rounds. Balbier Zufé emerged from the carriage the victor, and Raoul was dead. However, Balbier Zufé died a few days later anyway. I feel... cold. Number 7. Alexander Pushkin vs. Georges Dantes French military officer Georges Charles de Icarin Dantes allegedly pursued Russian author Alexander Pushkin's wife Natalia, and, not surprisingly, Pushkin was furious. Perhaps to better his chances somehow, Dantes married Natalia's sister. Shortly after their marriage, Pushkin wrote a letter denigrating Dantes. The rivaling brother-in-laws quickly found themselves dueling in St. Petersburg, Russia on January 27, 1837. Dantes fired first and shot Pushkin in the stomach. Pushkin rose and fired, giving Dantes a minor bullet wound on his right arm. Pushkin died a few days later, though he had pardoned Dantes. Number 6. Andrew Jackson vs. Charles Dickinson Before becoming president, 
Andrew Jackson dueled lawyer Charles Dickinson in 1806. Dickinson and Jackson's feud originated with a poorly handled horse racing bet between Jackson and Dickinson's father-in-law. After a year of insults, the quarrel reached its tipping point when Dickinson allegedly insulted Jackson's wife. Hey, Dixon, I saw your wife on television, too. Yeah, yeah she sure is an ugly bitch. Thanks. Hey. A duel was called for, but since dueling wasn't legal in Tennessee, they crossed over to Kentucky. Dickinson fired first and shot Jackson in the chest, but seemingly did not phase him. Jackson misfired his gun, immediately recocked it, took aim, and shot Dickinson dead. Number 5. Monsieur Le Pic versus Monsieur de Grand Pré. Picture it. Paris, France, 1808. Two Frenchmen, Monsieur Le Pic and Monsieur de Grand Pré, famously agreed to a duel because they both shared the same lover. But not just any duel, a hot air balloon duel, because they thought they were too good for a traditional duel. Armed with shotguns 900 yards above the ground, Le Pic fired first, but somehow missed. De Grand Pré subsequently blew away Le Pic's hot air balloon and sent him tumbling to his death. To make matters worse, both duelists had a hot air balloon pilot with them, so Le Pic's pilot died as well. Number 4. Miyamoto Musashi vs. Sasaki Kojiro <laughs> Hearing about the exploits of fellow Japanese swordsman Sasaki Kojiro, Ronin Miyamoto Musashi arranged for a duel to be fought on a remote Japanese island on April 13, 1612. To psychologically throw Kojiro off, Musashi arrived hours late by boat and even fashioned an oversized boken, or wooden sword, out of one of his oars for the duel. <laughs> Furious at his opponent's tardiness, Kojiro lunged at Musashi and failed to execute his famous swallow cut. Musashi knocked Kojiro down with his oversized boken, killing him and rode away. Number 3. Alexander Hamilton versus Aaron Burr. Alexander Hamilton hates Aaron Burr. Here's why. Aaron Burr is a politician from New York. And he doesn't care about the people. He simply wants to be the President of the United States because there's power in it. Vice President Aaron Burr dueled Alexander Hamilton, former Secretary of the Treasury, after a series of political quarrels because apparently that's how you solved things in the 19th century. On July 11, 1804, the two departed New York and met in Weehawken, New Jersey, which less rigorously prosecuted dueling. They each handed their pistols, and they walked the 10 paces. Hamilton fired into the air and missed, perhaps treating this as an affair of honor or perhaps just because he was a bad shot. Burr, conversely, shot above Hamilton's right hip, causing organ damage, and the bullet lodged into Hamilton's spine, killing him the next day. Ironically, Hamilton's son had died in November 1801, the result of a duel to protect his father's honor. Number 2. Humphrey Howarth versus the Earl of Barrymore <laughs> I don't think it's nice, you laughing. British MP Humphrey Howarth squared off against the Earl of Barrymore due to a drunken quarrel after an evening of races in Brighton, England in 1806. The not-so-fit and past-his-prime Howarth showed up and supposedly disrobed before Barrymore, which, needless to say, shocked onlookers. Howarth had previously been a military surgeon and understood that most people who were killed by bullet wounds actually died from infection due to unclean clothing being pushed into the wound by the bullet. So, Howarth stripped naked to increase his chances. Barrymore understandably felt awkward and neither shot the other, allowing both to walk away honorably. Ish. Before we get to our number one duel, let's review some honorable mentions.
Number one, General François Fournier Salovez versus General Pierre Dupont de l'Etang. You have insulted me! I have strained my patience in order not to do so. And I demand an apology. This is too big. An officer in Napoleon's army, Fournier gained notoriety as a fervent duelist, and Dupont was unfortunately charged with the task of delivering him some bad news. Enjoy your sword. Oh my god, I'll chase you down the street like a chicken! Enraged, Fournier challenged Dupont and they fought. This was in 1794, and while both lived, this duel resulted in as many as 30 more duels over the next two decades. These two frequently alternated between various swords and pistols, as well as on foot or horseback. By 1813, Dupont was fed up with their relationship, longed to marry, got the upper hand on Fournier and allowed him to live, finally ending their 19-year feud. I have submitted to your notions of honor long enough. You will now submit to mine. Do you agree with our list? What are your favorite duels in history? For more excellent top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.